Hi guys! This is my tutorial for a fall leaf textile design inspired tumbler. I have already sanded and prepped my tumbler using an 80 grit sanding block and rust -Oleum flat white spray paint. Now I'm ready to add my glitters using the epoxy method. About 5 to 7 milliliters of epoxy was all I needed for my 16 ounce mug. If you need fall themed color ideas, check out Pinterest. I searched blue fall palette ideas and this one caught my eye. Blue and orange shades are one of my favorite complementary color combinations, followed by purple and yellow, which you see spinning on the right. If you'd like to know what glitter colors I used for that one, the colors will be listed below in the description box. The design inspiration for this tumbler came from this textile design that I saw while I was scoping out some fall leaf tumbler ideas. Y'all have it so easy nowadays because when I was in art school, we didn't have Google. We had to hop in our car and go to a used bookstore just to cut up some old magazines to get design inspiration. Now a quick online search is all you need. I let this layer cure, seal with Krylon Triple Thick, and then I was ready for my first coat of epoxy. To add some extra sparkle, I'll be adding vintage to the handle of the tumbler. I won't be covering the handle and use glitter colors that match the color of the outline, so I wanted to give it some extra depth. Let this layer cure, add one more coat of epoxy for a nice and smooth finish, and then we'll be ready for our stencils. Before stenciling, I sanded my tumbler with a 1500 grit sanding disc on my hand sander. Remember, you can spray paint your tumbler right after sanding as long as you use a high grit. I use between 1000 to 2000 grit depending on what I'm doing. And you guys, cut the little stems off your leaf stencils. If I knew then what I know now, I would have cut them suckers off and burned them in effigy. You really don't need them for this design since the outlines are going to cover them up anyway. And I literally spent most of my time trying to cover those little stem peekaboos with the outline, which was hard because when I laid the stencil, the stems moved so they didn't match up with the outline. Lord have mercy, it was a mess. So learn from me y'all and save 40 minutes of your life and cut them suckers off.
totally skipped this step if you like, but I decided to add moon dust into my epoxy for a little extra sparkle. All right guys, decisions, decisions, cause this cup is gorgeous without any decals. But I went ahead and added the decal that I originally designed for this tumbler. If you've already purchased it for the other Hello Fall Peekaboo, then you're all set. But really, this design is beautiful with or without the decal, it's totally up to you. Epoxy till smooth and you'll be all done. That's it guys. Thank you so much for watching my tutorial. Have fun making your fall leaf textile design inspired tumblers and I'll see you again next time. Bye!